guys, thanks for clicking on this video, and today I'm going to show you how to make your boring old cheap school supplies more you and your own. This is my second video in my back to school series, second of many, and then so pretty much just what I mean by that is turning a 50 cent normal composition notebook into something more you and more interesting and something that people might want to look at and they can learn more about you that way. It'll also include making cheap 15 cent folders, just a tad bit more interesting, a little bit more you, not really much you can do with a folder, but you know, I do my best, and then a three ring binder, one inch with a clear covering. I'm going to show you how I do mine that way, how I make mine and stuff. And so if you're interested, keep watching, and thanks for watching. Okay, and so for the first way in this, I'm doing composition notebooks. And I have I did this last year, and this year I color coordinated, color coordinated my subjects, and so everything on one folder is all red, everything on one folder is all blue, and it's all like that. If you don't want to do that, then you can just do a plain black one, or even if you want to do a different color, you can and then you can just make it whatever colors you want. You can do this with magazine cutouts, things you get from the internet, or pictures of like you and your friends and stuff. And so what you need for this is a plain composition notebook, a pair of scissors that are good for cutting, a glue stick, which I use a glue stick, I would prefer I would suggest using a glue stick over like a bottle of glue because it isn't as bumpy that way. And then you need something that you can cut up, that is clear to cut up. Like, I sometimes use my mom's magazines. Make sure that if you do use someone else's magazine that it is okay, that they are allowing you to cut it up. And then I also use National Geographic. And so just anything that you are okay to cut up, then that you can work with. And so now let's get into how to do it. I normally do this either on a table, on my floor, or on my bed, because it's all cleared off, and so I'm just going to try to do this in a chair. But so you have your magazine and everything in front of you, and you start looking through the magazine. Look for anything. You can look for a picture or words that are interesting to you. If you like to surf, you could do a picture of a surfing man. Or if you like animals, you can cut out a, pic a cute picture of an animal, or just pretty much anything. If you like cut out a picture of a scenery or something and make that like not necessarily the base. I will show you with examples that I've already made. Which is like kind of like the background of your collage and just anything. And so I found this in one of my mom's magazines that she didn't want me to cut up. She just said I could take this ad out. And so for this I would I'm going to cut out the be the voice. So or I could cut out the picture of the tiger. And so you can really just find words that inspire you or that describe you in some way or just words that you like to look at or maybe just like a fancy font or something. And then something that I did on one of my one notebooks that I'm going to show you is I cut out like a little poem that I found in a National Geographic thing and it just looks cool and it adds a whole little flair kind of thing to it. And so yeah, so just words and pictures that you find that inspire you, that you think are cool, that you just like, that describe you anything like that you just cut it out and set it aside for later. Keep in mind that whatever you cut out has to be able to fit on the actual width length of the composition notebook because you don't want any paper folding out like that. And then so ways you can cut it. You can cut it as a square just like around the picture or words or you can cut it around and make it outline the animal or the word that you decided to cut out. And just doing a mixture of both can add a pop to it to your notebook and so it's not all the same it can be different and unique like that okay and now that you have everything cut out and set aside you can go ahead and get out your composition notebook and first what I do is I organize everything on the notebook seeing how I want it to look see if everything will fit on it to see if you need to add something else if you don't have enough little cut out things so just organize it all on your composition notebook and then what I normally do is I take a picture of it if I like just how it looks and I want it exactly like that, then I take a picture of it with my phone and then I can just look off of it whenever I'm gluing it all on. And then so once you have everything laid out, you it, you can make it whatever you want. It can be a collage to make a face or something. It can just be a scramble of things all over it, which is what mine normally are. 
you can organize it any way you want. I normally do it to cover up the composition actually part right there and so it's not it so it just looks like a square of pictures and so it doesn't really look like a composition notebook until you open it up and you're like, oh, it has lines. It is a notebook. And so yeah. And so then you take everything off of the composition notebook except for the main thing that is in the background that things kind of go on top of and then you take your glue stick, you uncap it, and I put glue around the back of the picture and then I also put a little bit on the edges of where your picture will go on the actual notebook and then on the inside and so it has double coverage and it will stay a lot better. And then so once you put it on, you can start putting the other pictures around it using your little picture guide to see where you want it and how you want it to look. And then if anything is sticking up at the end, you can just lift it up a little bit, take a glue stick, and put it on the actual composition notebook that time and so that way it will stay better. And so yeah, so that is how you decoupage your composition notebooks. I'm going to show you three, three out of four of the three out of five of the notebooks that I made this year just so it's not too many. Okay, and so my color that I chose for my physical science class this year was blue. And then so I got a blue composition notebook which cost the same price as the black ones at Target and I went through different magazines and found a bunch of blue things. I think this one turned out pretty good. I think it's one of my favorite ones. And so, well this one I don't really have a main ba basic picture which I do for the other ones that's like the background, but I have a bunch of things. I have the beach because I love the beach. Um, they will always fall before they fly. I think that's kind of interesting. I've never heard that saying before, but I thought it was true. I mean, you have to go through the rain before you get the rainbow, right? Um, I have a gazelle jumping just because it's beautiful and live a bird, Captain America, who is awesome. Um, curl up with a book because I love reading. Um, a seal in the blue ocean and a eagle, which is patriotism and all that. And so yeah, as you see I covered up the place where you like it. you're supposed to put your name and so I just wrote my name on the top in black so you could see it a little bit better and I wrote my name and the subject and so I will know what subject it is and then if I, I lose it people will know who I am and who to give it back to. Okay, and the reason I kind of color all my subjects is just so whenever I'm going to my locker I can just grab one out really fast, but like last year I didn't color coordinate the pictures for it, but I just, I just had that idea this year and I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. Just do one color for each notebook. This one has the background, which is what I was talking about earlier. This is my ROTC, ROTC notebook. Um, the color for this one is orange, but they didn't have any orange notebooks, so I just grabbed a yellow one and then made the colors orange. And then so what I was talking about with the big picture is just a big picture that's kind of the focus and then a bunch of little pictures that isn't the focus. So this is what I was talking about with words. It's just like a little poem that I found in National Geographic. It says, and after a long time traveling, you will enter a silence. You will know it is winter by the way your dreams tremble like stones when the wind comes through. By Lance Henson of the Cheyenne Indian tribe. I just thought that was kind of cool. It's like, I don't know, just, I like, sorry, that was my phone. Um, I just like poetry and stuff, and then I have creates because I love creating things. And then a puppy and a kitty, and seashells, and a few more words. Yes, you can, to inspire myself. And so, yeah, it doesn't have to be cluttered. The, my blue one was a little bit more cluttered. This one is just more relaxed. I really like this one as well. And the last one I'm going to show you is my one for English. This one I think is pretty cool, because it has one giant eye an alligator that I found in National Geographic. And then the hand holding berries, which is cool, and then like a pink flower. It was red and pink for the subject as well, and they didn't have one of those colors. And so once again, I just got yellow. And then read, happy, the dog's tongue is pink, um, love, and then I found these in two different magazines, I think, but they're two pigs and they love each other, see? Okay, so now I'm going to talk about folders. I don't really like getting the folders with like the fancy cartoon characters on them or like the glossy ones with the pictures on them and stuff just because I feel like I don't want to spend two dollars on a folder that will just fall apart by the end of the year anyway and you won't really be able to use it anymore so what I do is I just take normal plain 15 cent folders I get the ones without the brackets in the middle I don't really like those it just looks plain like this on the inside and I make it my own and so 
each subject I have a different font for my name, and I have my name, and then I have the subject. This is my physical science one, and then you can do just quotes or words that inspire you, but I put Bible verses, and so I just copied and pasted some along with my name, and then I printed it out and cut it out. And what I did with this, I glued it, but if you feel like it might come off, you can tape it as well. I just didn't have any tape, but glue seems to be holding pretty well, and it doesn't look bulky or anything. Yet, like this one for my American history, I just have one big verse because it's just one big one. But then for physical science, I have two little ones. And so you can do that with quotes or pretty much anything that really inspires you, like word-wise, to do your best. Maybe it can be like a note from a friend that you can just like type up that encourages you and like helps you stay strong even when you're having a bad day or something like that. And so that way you can just kind of always have that with you and it just spices up your folders a little bit more than they were plain. Now I'm going to show you how to make your one inch three ring binder different. So I'm just going to show you how I do it really fast. Okay, so this is my algebra binder from last year. It is like falling apart because I had it all year. And so on the back of it, I just put my schedule, like I never forget it because I just remember, I always remembered it, but I just had that back there just in case. And then on the front, I did this on wordle.net. I will tag it or put the link in the bottom of the, in the description, but it's really cool. You type in a bunch of words and the words that come up the most are the biggest and then the words that are the least are the smallest and you can edit it into different fonts you want and then if you double click the picture while you're still editing it you can make it to where it's like just the outline of the words and not colors and everything and you can color yourself so that's what I did I have my name the biggest and then algebra one it's above that you can't really see it very well the second biggest and then I just had a bunch of words that are about math like ask questions slope intercept form integers division exponents linear this is a binder my friend really got a kick out of that just writing this is a binder because i couldn't up with anything else but then i thought it was kind of cool because like it gave me enough room and a few of my friends just signed it randomly because they were like hey i'm gonna write on this and i'm like okay but you could just take out the paper nice and easy and have your friends sign it if you want and then a cool thing is i just wrote random notes on here just randomly because my teacher is like the best math teacher ever and we have like random parties if our class got the high scores which we always did because we were the eighth grade class and so i just wrote on december 8th 2011 i wrote party and party and yeah fun 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 dot 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 um i wrote um on november 2nd 2011 i wrote 53 days until christmas no flood tonight which is what we call our youth group and so I just wrote random things on here, and in a few years, it'd be kind of cool to look back on that and be like, I remember those fun moments in algebra. Okay, and then so my algebra 2 binder for this year, I did it more like my composition notebooks, and then my color was black and white. And this one is, I find, I think this one is one of my favorite ones, because black and white is just something that you can do so much with. And yeah, this, I like think it, I think doing it on in a binder is a lot better because you have a lot more space and you don't have to try to cover up the composition notebook like circle thing on there but so this is my notebook for algebra that I guess you could say is the main picture and then that's a really cool picture of an Indian there and I love photography as you can tell and then I have a penguin smart panda, two panda